Hey everyone, and welcome to One Studio's interview. We've got Brennan Campbell with us. Hey. Who's going to talk a little bit about the Suzuki method. I will talk about that. All right. So, Brennan, first question for you is, uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so um, my name is Brennan, and um, I act, dance, direct, produce, stage manage, um, and write my own plays. Um, and get paid for it. Currently, my job title is Clown Whisperer, mm -hmm. and uh, I work full-time at Smarty Pants Escape Rooms, writing, directing, and performing, and managing the front end of that business. Sounds like you're taming yeah. wild clowns. Or something. Well, it's, I feel like working with a lot of actors on a daily basis is that. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, are you with a, per a specific theater right now? Any particular um, projects going on? I'm actually, I'm working with an artist named Mina Lee. We are working in, going to be working in residence at uh, the Colch, creating a site-specific performance that'll be in there, in one of the change rooms. It's, uh, it's oh. going to be like 15 people max. We're, we're changing the change room into um, a, a gallery of someone's memories. It's not necessarily like a narrative through line, but hmm. just... A collection of forgotten memories. Interesting. What is it, what is the show called? What is it? Uh, it's called Lovers Inside Boa Constrictor. Cool. Yeah. Pretty, I, I believe that's the name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so the uh, next question is obviously, uh, where did you learn the uh, Suzuki method? Uh, so I studied it in, um, in Australia. Uh, on and off for about two years. A company called Zen Zenzo Physical Theater operates out of there, and they they teach the Suzuki method of actor training, the viewpoints, and mm -hmm. Buto dance. Uh, and I went down there to study with them for a month-long intensive in 2012. Mm -hmm. I was actually supposed to go with a friend, but at the last minute they backed out, so I just went by myself. And um, we I became great friends with the members of this theater company, and um, they have a really prestigious internship program and so I went down there and I worked with them for six months as part of the internship and then another six months just because I wanted to cool well, that's <laughs> yeah that's awesome the Suzuki method uh, many people are unfamiliar with it many people may have tried it before I know that uh, Tadashi Suzuki he's kind of taught around the world yeah and he, he's been around since the 70s what are the some of the specifics of this Training, how is it different from other actor training? So, um, everything is generated foremost from the physical experience of what's going on. And it's all about presence, just as any acting training is. But I guess in order to sort of address that question, you have to go back to why it was first created. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's traditional Japanese no theater in Kabuki. But then at the time, there was also a contemporary Japanese theater that was sort of imitating what was happening in North America mm -hmm. and or Britain, just, you know, the Western English, the Western theater traditions. Mm -hmm. They're sort of just imitating it and even going as far as speaking lines with the inflections as if it was a line in English, mm -hmm. which doesn't necessarily make sense to a Japanese audience, right? What he did was created a method which he believed bridged the gap from these traditional values and enlivened the actor on stage again by engaging them primarily from a physical standpoint and then allowing the other elements, like the emotion, the everything else, to fall into place afterwards. Because mm -hmm. a lot of, I don't know, I get bored with theater where, you know, people are just sitting around and just talking heads and, you know... Yeah, that can definitely be boring. Uh, no, I, I I came to a few classes that you taught. It was yeah. Suzuki and Viewpoints. And uh, I looked around a little bit, and a lot of people say that uh, Viewpoints and Suzuki training, they seem to kind of complement each other, go yeah. well together. Why would you say that is? The Suzuki method of actor training, the way it exists, it borrows a lot of ideas from traditional martial arts training. Mm -hmm. And so in that... Uh, there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. Mm -hmm. And every exercise is more similar to a kata than necessarily a, a traditional acting exercise we might do. Mm -hmm. And so there's a very strict discipline in it. There's a lot of emphasis on not shying away from any challenges. Mm -hmm. So the Suzuki method is a holistic system, but you don't, on, on the outside looking in, it looks just like a bunch of physical exercises. But when you're in it, 
you're actually battling against your own desire to stop. Mm -hmm. Everything about it is learning to go deeper. It's learning where you want to stop and pushing through it, entering the challenge. And so it can be, it can be very exhausting and it can, you know, it's, it's one way of working. Mm -hmm. And then the viewpoints by contrast is a postmodern actor training system, which essentially just says that there's nothing, you can never be wrong. Every choice is correct if you allow it, if you attend to it properly. Essentially, it's if Suzuki method, you're plowing into every obstacle, entering it gracefully and pushing through. The viewpoints is more about learning how to play and find exploring more options within a given amount of work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope that addresses your question. <laughs> that, uh, that does address my question. Suzuki training is, from what I can see, is really gaining in popularity right now, um, at least in Vancouver. There's a few people teaching it. In, in there is places. a few of us, yeah. This has been around for a long time, since the 70s. Why do you think that the training is gaining popularity locally right um, now? Well, I don't know if it's just a locally thing, but I think especially with our generation, having grown up with a lot of screens and, you know, the advent of social media and just being connected to everyone all the time, I think what this training does is it forces you to be present mm -hmm. in a way that no other sort of training can. And I personally believe that uh, right now the interesting thing in theater is intimacy mm -hmm. because so much in our daily lives, more than ever, we're disconnected from the people around us because we interact with them through screens and, you know, we're missing that sort of visceral experience. And I think that Especially, you know, the way that Suzuki addresses actor training, you're fully in it and it's everything about it is visceral and present and you're not doing it properly if you aren't that. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, it's just a way of working opposite to the way that we sort of are existing in our society currently. And I think a lot of people find strength in that and or, you know, they may be just bored with a more, you know, psychological approach. Not to say there's anything wrong with that, but like myself, I've never really done that. Yeah. Um, and I've always approached things from a bit more of a physical standpoint. So it definitely spoke to me. And that's, that's the way I certainly enjoy working is I offer something. It can be wrong, but I'll go full out in it. And then just reflecting on the experience and how we can improve it or craft it more for an audience. Um, it's just. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> what I enjoy, and I think that uh, the work that I teach supports. Have you, like, there's several students that you've had, mm -hmm. probably, who are working actors, mm -hmm. who have done other sorts of training, they've got an education, maybe university. Have you had them reflect with you, or have you noticed uh, any positive changes that happened to them after undergoing the training? Um well, I've worked with a lot of the people that I have worked with. I, I, I ha already had some sort of personal connection. And, you know, I was kind of like, come to my classes. Come on. And certainly those are people that already had some sort of connection with it. And being reconnected with it obviously just solidifies that link and helps them. But I actually recently had an, an actor who I I knew of because we were both from Edmonton. Mm -hmm. But he he came to a bunch of my classes and... He started saying, even after the second class, that he started noticing himself just being more present in his work and being able to, you know, where he may have shied away before, just reconnecting with that stillness and using that as a place of power to move forward. And so, you know, there's that. Um, I had a teacher from VFS come to one of the classes and thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, so that's, I don't know. <laughs> that's that's good. Yeah, that speaks for itself. Where do you teach right now? Uh, do you have a class going right now? I do. There's one class left, uh, which is going to be on, what is that, June 3rd. Um, so it may not actually be around by the time this airs. Mm -hmm. But yeah, at the moment I am teaching classes at Academy Duello. And I don't actually know what I'm doing after this. The classes there have been successful and it's just a matter of rebooking space re-advertising and that that sort of thing but I've worked with a few different companies human theater is the main one that I've worked with who's helped me put forward this work and as well uh, the Fojo festival in Fort st. John 
Fojo? Fojo, yeah. It was actually a new festival last year, and I was privileged enough to be selected to go teach workshops there. But yeah, that's sort of, I guess, where I've started teaching. I've also taught classes through Now Theater, a couple other <laughs> less formal things. So I'm doing that and just sort of, at the moment, trying to find more of a, a distinct home for where I can teach and, you know. Cool. <laughs> Awesome. My website, mm -hmm. uh, brennancampbell.com, where I'll, I'll post any new courses on there so people can see that beforehand. So I get, that's all the questions that I had for you today. Great. This has been uh, Brennan Campbell, uh, Cat Herder, I mean, Clown, Clown Whisperer. Whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the interview. And... Uh, that you come to uh, Suzuki Method training. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh.